It's more like a fortress than a home. With round-the-clock police protection and bodyguards shadowing their every move, it's like being in prison. Odion de Oliveira has one of the most dangerous jobs in Brazil, one that's put his family's life at risk. De Oliveira is a federal judge. He's renowned for his uncompromising toughness. He's put hundreds of drug dealers behind bars over the last 30 years, including one of the most powerful drug cartel leaders in the Americas, Fernandino Beramar. De Oliveira has lots of enemies, drug dealers as well as corrupt police officers and fellow judges who would all prefer to see him dead. He's collected many death threats over the years. These are all the files of the plots to murder me. There's loads. This case, for example, I was to be killed for $200,000. I was still cheap back then. All these documents here, there's no end to it. Some thought he was dead already. A certificate of honor in memory of Judge Odilon de Oliveira. I was sitting in the hall when the certificate was presented. I jumped up and stormed onto the stage. They all thought I was dead, that they'd killed me, just like the other judges. But I'm still alive. Alive and extremely busy. Today's case is typical. A man has been accused of having smuggled a large amount of cocaine. We're talking about 230 kilos of cocaine. The drugs came from Bolivia, hidden in a truck. Cocaine is smuggled from neighboring Colombia and Peru as well. 17 tons are seized in Brazil every year. And that's only a fraction of what crosses the border on a daily basis. Brazil has also become a transit country for cocaine being transported to Africa and Europe. De Oliveira shows us 20 impounded airplanes. Planes like this one transport cocaine from Colombia to Brazil. The drug dealers have converted it to suit their purposes. It can fly almost eight hours without refueling. When the pilot closes this, it looks like a normal airplane. Before takeoff, this hose is simply attached to the gas canisters. That's how it stays in the air for so long. Most drug dealers in Brazil are not organized and deal in small amounts. It's the drug cartels who do the really big business, and they control the global market. One kilo of cocaine base costs between 850 and 2,500 U.S. dollars in the country of origin. After processing, one kilo of cocaine can be sold in Europe for up to 92,000 U.S. dollars. De Oliveira knows with profit margins like that, bribing police or judges is no trouble at all. I'm a judge with clean hands, clean feet, a clean head and a clear mind, but I've got a hard hand. The judge has seen many colleagues give in to crime. The drug bosses can't defeat me. If you fight hard, they can't beat you. Odion de Oliveira is widely admired for his commitment. His triumphs, however, cost him dearly.